If you didn't know her, you'd think 10-year-old Tilly Smith was just an ordinary schoolgirl. She enjoys all the things ordinary schoolgirls do. She lives an ordinary life and goes to ordinary lessons here at Danes Hill School in Oxshott in Surrey. But on the 26th of December 2004, Tilly Smith was caught up in an extraordinary situation and reacted like lightning to save the day. She and her family were on holiday in Phuket in Thailand when the Asian tsunami struck. Most people failed to spot the first warning signs in the water, but Tilly had just studied tsunamis in school. I remembered because I had been taught it in the geography lesson and it was the exact same froth, uh, like you get on a beer. It, sort of, it was sort of sizzling. Just two weeks earlier, Tilly's geography teacher, Andrew Carney, had taught them about the early warning signs for a tsunami and how important it is to act quickly. From the time you suspect something's wrong, then it's crucial to get to higher ground and to get away from the uh, seaside. Even if the water is not that high, uh, the power of the waves could uh, crush and drag you down and drag you away. I said there's definitely going to be a tsunami and my mum didn't believe me, she didn't really act. And so she just kept on walking and my dad sort of believed me and Holly, was, my sister, was getting really scared so she ran back to the pool and then my dad went back with her and then I said, right mum, I'm going, I'm definitely going, there is definitely going to be a tsunami and she just, mm, by then. So I went back and she wanted, she was sort of reacting a bit more when I had gone. Um, and so she went back to see if I was okay. And then the minute that she had come back, it, the, the water started coming up the beach. The tsunami wreaked havoc across Asia, killing over 270,000 people and causing massive destruction to property. Large parts of Phuket were damaged but with such simple but crucial information, Tilly managed to save the lives of all the people on her beach. Well, I told my dad and um, my dad told the security guards and the security guards told the people on, on the beach because there was quite a few families on the beach, just in the water. Some reports claimed Tilly saved over 100 lives that day, but she says the real hero is her geography teacher who saved her life and those of her family. If it wasn't for Mr Carney, then I'd probably be dead and so would my family. So I'm quite, I'm quite proud that he's taught me that in the time you know, that it was. The power of education is uh, the difference between, uh, I suppose, success and failure, life and death in this case. And uh, there is nothing to substitute uh, nothing to substitute it for. Uh, without education, I think people are powerless. With education, uh, as can be seen here, they are very powerful in terms of uh, directing their own lives. According to the UN ISDR, children can be very effective messengers and can help teach the older generation. If Tilly hadn't been there, her mother may easily have died. My mum didn't realise because um, she wasn't taught about tsunamis when she was younger and she didn't realise what a tsunami was. She didn't even know that that word existed. So I think it's really good to actually know the word and be taught it. Tilly agreed to be interviewed for the UN International Strategy on Disaster Reduction because she hopes her experience may help spread the word in other countries about the importance of raising awareness. Though her life is now back to normal, she still thinks of those who died in the tsunami and says one day she would like to return. I sort of felt guilty that I had, I had survived and all those people hadn't. I'd like to go there again just to finish off our holiday. Um, and I'm quite proud of myself that I knew what was happening. It's hoped when the next time comes, more people will react like Tilly. Thank you.